Mo, you were in 19 episodes of Parks and Recreation. Yeah. Did you realize in 19? I know. Yeah. What do you remember of the casting process? What do you remember about joining oh. Parks and Rec? Oh, absolutely remember the the casting of it. Um, they, you know, they wanted this uh, newscastery cable access lady, not really good, very green. So I really tried to just play it as real as possible because, you know, single camera was fairly new then. Mm. So that whole style coming away from sitcom and everything was like, dial it, just dial it way, way down. And I just, you know, just did my, I just did very real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, we see where it went from yeah, there. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, truly, very grounded, very I, grounded. I actually <laughs> really do enjoy going back and seeing the evolution of Joan. And when you do go back, and, and I still, regardless of how um, extreme, let's just say, that Joan became, how outlandish, I always, every single time I would do an episode, I really did try to remember that very first episode. And some of the things that I was telling myself about not being very, very slick mm. with the speaking mm -hmm. when it comes to actually doing her show, just to, you know, kind of skip up a little bit <laughs> while still, you know, trying to be professional. <laughs> just making it, a, having a, a bit of that awkward in there. Mm. Uh, but I, I totally remember the audition, Tiny Room. Oh. Was it was it with Naked the boys? From the was, well, that's what? <laughs> <I go. laughs> she, just for the record, she is now also yeah. naked uh, yeah. from the bottom. It becomes me. Yeah. Um, did, were, who was in the room? Were the boys in the room? Was it Mike? Oh no, and Greg no, this or, is just no, Allison. Just, like just um, casting. Mm, yeah, just it was casting. just you know in and out as yeah. it is. Welcome yeah. to showbiz. But once you joined the show, I feel like you, your character and you made this indelible mark in. Especially once you and Amy would be in a scene together. I think oh. there's a special think, energy between I the two. I think this is what happened, and I'm grateful for it, um, as I am with any job that has me do this, is I, I keep going until they yell cut. You know, and uh, it's uh, improv is my BFF. And I think from there, you know, part of it was just Mo Collins playing on set. Mm. But stuff comes out, and they start to see just potential of of writing and I, I i feel like that is where the writer sort of went she's game mm -hmm. right like she's a player she's game yes. and i do that on any job i go to whether they want me to or not <laughs> but um <laughs> but if they're smart they yeah. see that they do and they know to let it ride but look one time i specifically remember uh amy poehler saying Mo's here, just keep the camera rolling. Mm. Oh, mm. Now, is there a better so, compliment than yeah, that? Yeah. No, there's not. Wow. And it's also like woman to woman. Yeah. Mm. It, it's um, such a beautiful thing to have a contemporary, you know, be so supportive. That's why Parks and Rec was so great. The captain of the ship had no ego. Exactly, 100%. Uh, that gave me a lot of confidence being a guest there. You know, it was, I'd always felt like sort of a cousin to the family, right? which was really fun. Because I, they had an expectation when I would show up that I would maybe deliver some extra treats. Mm -hmm. I think people like Mo, I think people like uh, Ben Schwartz, mm. they just knew, okay, we have our script, mm -hmm. and, and we have a base, let them do their thing. But and there get, were others too. Let's get too. the plot out we need, let's get the base but, yeah, done, yeah, but then totally. have fun. And then to let them do what they do and Look what they do. I mean, Joan Calamezzo it's is It's mining for iconic. gold. It's, you know, Parks and Rec, the script already was gold. Yeah. But on any comedy, what you do want to do is mine for more gold while you're while you're there. And that's why you get funny people to right. do comedy. Yeah. I still maintain that. Funny people. <laughs> okay, let me write this down one second. Comedy. Funny, funny people. people. It's, you, it's okay. great when funny people. I'm gonna okay. put that in pencil, not pen. I'm not sure that You're I believe sure it. Landed. So I'm gonna. I'm not yeah. gonna well, make it. Well, Parks solid. and Rec. I think our set was famous for fun runs, where after we've recorded the scene that we need, then we do a fun run, and just for the actors just to have fun to improv as as much as you want, as long as you get a general sense of the scene as needed. Yep. Still have fun because you never know what gold would come. And I feel like when you are on set, especially when you'd be with Amy as well, both people with 
huge improv backgrounds. Yeah. There must have been this element of the fun run is happening throughout. You know that each of you trust each other, right? It's to the get, trust. It yeah. is. Totally. It, it's the trust, you know, and I obviously know they're good for it. We cut, we're cut from the same cloth. Mm. Yeah. Um, and what you said, which is so 100% on, Amy Poehler has no ego. Right. She wants what's best for the show. Yeah. And so she knew who you, she knows what you do. She knows what you bring. And yeah. so for her, let her go. Let her go. And it's beyond that. It's the support goes to where Amy actually wanted me to shine. Mm-hmm. She yes. didn't want me to just do well for her show. She wanted me to shine. She wanted to shine a light on me. Mm. You know, and that's what really good people do. Yes. You know, is is you you shine a light, you know, that's why you want your own light to shine because that light is shining onto somebody else. Mm. And that's what Amy is really good at. And so am I. Yeah. I keep using Stop me from saying the term 100%. It in. keeps coming out, but I, it's just you're saying exactly how I feel. Yeah. That's how Amy was for seven seasons. Yeah. It was never about Amy. Uh, yeah. And that, you know, as Mo and I, we have been on a lot of shows over the years. We've seen a lot of things over the years. Yeah. And a lot of times your leads are what they are and yep. funny goes to them and you can lose funny because it's going to go to the lead that was never the case on never. parks not never. not with amy not, not with anybody on parks but i just I, I love that you saw that too i just oh absolutely and you know amy's but one of your that, biggest fans and i'm one of hers too yeah. because it's you know like i say it's like looking at people that and watching her career and now granted they went in different directions <laughs> but uh you know um which by the way when you leave make goes... sure you clean the table Mo. <laughs> yeah. i just gotta make sure you get all the stuff all the garbage <gasps> out but i do understand how she started and how i started and i know what it all feels like and and that was really keeping an eye on ensemble too like i come from dudley riggs brave new workshop in minneapolis and the it really was about ensemble mm. you know uh not about the individual it's about what can the ensemble accomplish together and you, we make each other shine many interviews have asked me over the years oh d- would you love your own show like you know no 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 it is an ensemble that always the cheers the, the, carol burnett the carol burnett that's the dream and it, it and is. i had it for seven years because yeah. parks was an ensemble I I couldn't agree more. I just yeah. it's all about the group effort and everyone supporting each other. Yeah. Um. And not every bit works. Not everything. Whatever. But you're all there for each other, and when it works, it, it can yeah. just explode. But it's not even such a bad thing to fail together. Sure. Of course. <laughs> you know, like I mean, I go back to Mad TV days for that. You know, there were some things that failed and failed right in front of the audience, and brilliant. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. But when we fail like that, we're like, all right, let's do another take. And then the improv comes in and ensemble gathers together and boom, you've got gold. Mm. Yeah. Like you just find stuff. Like the process of comedy is just, oh, it's, it's awesome. so good, isn't it? <laughs> it's so good. The but process it of, so good. like I just sunk in a little bit because it truly is like just pure chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a treat. Chocolate is really good. Chocolate is yeah. good. And what, but when it when it all comes together, that feeling is like no other. And it's, yeah. it's you know, it's it's why people keep golfing. I know this is a crazy I'm jumping off the bridge here, but you know, you golf because you get that one good shot during the eighteen holes that keeps you coming back. That's what comedy is. You get that one moment where you're like, Oh, I do love that. Mm. It's yeah. a drug, I guess. I think yeah, it might be a, a bit of a drug. Yeah. And it you is. need to you are constantly searching for that. And if you're yeah. lucky, you end up with a group of people, you get it a lot. I know. A whole lot. It's the luckiest place to be.